welcome dear students to this session today we are going to discuss from class 9 mathematics book chapter 6 lines and angles this is part 5 earlier we have discussed about parallel lines we discussed axioms and theorems on parallel lines in which we uh, discussed corresponding angle axioms, alternate interior angle theorems, co interior angle theorems, and also another theorem like lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other. Today, we are going to discuss something which is based upon these parallel lines theorems. Here, we are going to discuss angle sum property of a triangle and problems based on angle sum property of a triangle. Now, look at this picture. Here, we have a triangle ABC and we have to identify the angles of this triangle. As you know, an angle is formed when two rays originate from a single uh, end point. Here, if we take A as the end point, then AB and AC are the arms of the angle A. Similarly, we have angle B and angle C. So, we call these are the interior angles of the triangle. Then, what is relationship between these interior angles of triangle? Now you see, in the earlier classes, you have verified that if we measure all these three angles of a triangle, their sum will be 180 degree. So, this theorem states that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Now, in this part, we are will uh, learn how to uh, prove it logically. So, draw a triangle first. ABC is our triangle. Then, we have to, uh, the uh, given part is here, 1, 2 and 3 are the angles. Then, what to prove? According to this statement, we have to prove that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree. To prove this, we need to uh, take the help of parallel lines. So, we have to draw something. What to draw? Let us see. We have to draw a line xy through P which is parallel to QR. So, we can write that draw a line x, p, y parallel line QR through opposite vertex P and let rename x, p, q angle to be angle 4 and angle y, p, r to be angle 5. Then, we have to proof. Now, XPY is a line. Therefore, angle 4 plus angle 1 plus angle 5 that makes 180 degree because the angle XPY as we discussed earlier that it is straight angle and the value of straight angle is 180 degree. So, angle 4 plus angle 1 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degree and let this be equation 1. Now, but XPY, XPY line is parallel to QR. If we consider PQ as the transversal, then we have two angles to be equal. What are they? Angle 2 and 4. Why angle 2 and 4 are equal? Because they are alternate interior angles 
angle 4 and angle 2 are alternate interior angles. Similarly, if we take XPY parallel to QR and PR is the transversal, then which are the alternate interior angles? The alternate interior angles are 3 and 5. Now, if we substitute the values of 4 and 5 in equation 1, we get that angle 2 plus 1 plus 3 equal to 180 degree because in place of 4, we substitute 2 and in place of uh, plus of 5, we substitute 3. So, we have angle 2 plus angle 1 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree. Now, if we rearrange it, we can say that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree. So, we proved that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. So, using this, let us have some problems. Here is a figure, you see, AB is parallel to DE and angle BAC is equal to 35 degree and angle CDE is equal to 53 degree. Find the measure of angle BCE. Here is the figure. A, B, C, D. This is 53 degree and this angle is 35 degree. Now, you see if B, A, C is 35 degree and similarly B, A, E also 35 degree. So, we can write that measure of angle B, A, C is same as measure of angle B, A, E because A, E and A, C are on the same line. So, you can write this to be 35 degree and A, B is parallel to A, 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 B is parallel to A, B is parallel to D, E and a E is transversal. So, this implies angle B A E is equal to angle A A E D this angle as these two are equal. So, this is 35 degree. Now, in triangle C, D, E, we have angle D, angle D or C, D, E plus angle D, C, E plus angle C, E, D is equal to 180 degree. This is our angle sum property of a triangle. So, this shows that if you put the values of CDE or CDE is given, CDE is given 53 degree and we have to find the value of DCE. So, keep it as it is DCE and CED, C C E D is same as A E D and A E D is equal to B A, uh, B A E and its value is 35 degree. So, we can write 35 degree. So, C E D is same as A E D. So, we can write that 35 degree is equal to 180 degree. This gives that angle D C E plus this is 35 plus 53 gives 88 degree 
is equal to 180 degree. That gives angle DCE is equal to 180 degree minus 88 degree is equal to 92 degree. In this way, we can solve that angle DCE is equal to 92 degree. Let's uh, see another problem. Here is a picture. The figure says that if line PQ and RS intersect at point T such that angle PRT equal to 40 degree, angle RPT equal to 95 degree and angle TSQ is equal to 75 degree find angle SQT. Here given the value PR, SQ and T. Given that PQ and RS intersect at point T and value of PRT is 40 degree. PRT is 40 degree and RPT is 95 degree this is 95 degree and TSQ is 95 degree, TSQ is 75 degree. Now, in this triangle, angle in triangle PRT, we have measure of angle or angle RPT plus angle PRT plus angle PTR is equal to 180 degree by angle sum property of triangle. This shows that RPT, RPT is 95 degree, PRT is 40 degree plus PTR keep it as it is equal to 180 degree and this shows 135 degree plus PTC angle is equal to 180 degree. So this shows uh, PTR say PTR this shows that PTR is equal to 180 degree minus 135 degree that is 45 degree. Now you see PQ and RS are two lines intersecting each other at T. So we have two vertically opposite angles PTR and STQ. So we can write PQ intersects and RS intersect each other at T. So this implies angle PTR is equal to angle STQ vertically opposite. vertically opposite angles. And what is the value of STQ? The value of PTR is 45 degree. So STQ is also 45 degree. Now come to triangle STQ. Now in triangle STQ we can write angle S plus angle Q plus angle S T Q is equal to 180 degree and from this we get 
what is angle S? Angle S is given by angle S is given to be uh, 75 degree plus angle Q or angle SQT keep it is keep as it is plus angle STQ is equal to 45 degree this is equal to 180 degree again by the angle sum property of triangle from this we get that angle SQT plus 75 plus 45 120 degree is equal to 180 degree so we get angle SQT is equal to 180 degree minus 120 degree that is 60 degree so from this solution we we could apply the angle sum property to solve this now have a look to another question the question says if the angles of a triangle are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 find the angles so here the ratio of the angles is given the ratio of angles of a triangle are 1 is to 2 is to 3 so we can take the angles to be let the angles are x and for 2 2x and for 3 3x if these are the ma magnitude of three angles then their sum is x plus 2x plus 3x is equal to 180 degree by angle sum property of triangle this gives x plus 2x 3x plus 3x 6x is equal to 180 degree that gives x is equal to 180 degree by 6 that is 30 degree if x is 30 degree then 2x is equal to 30 into 2 that is 60 degree and 3x is equal to 30 into 3 that is 90 degree are this value correct let's verify if we find the sum of this will it be 180 degree yes 30 plus 60 90 and 90 plus 90 is 180 degree so this shows that the angles of uh, the triangle with such condition are 30 degree 60 degree and 90 degree let's have a look to another problem the angles of a triangle are arranged in ascending order of magnitude if the difference between two consecutive angles is 20 degree find the angles so the angles are arranged in ascending order and the difference is 20 degree so let the smallest angle be x let the smallest angle be x then then consecutive angles are the other two angles are one is x plus 20 and another is x plus x plus 30 okay now you see these are the angles of a triangle so sum of the angles is 180 degree 
So we can write that x plus x plus 20 degree plus x plus 40 degree is equal to 180 degree. Now we have a, uh, we have an equation in x. So we can solve it x plus x plus 20 plus x plus 40 is equal to 180. This gives x plus x plus x that is 3x plus 20 plus 40 that is 60 is equal to 180. So by taking 60 to right side, we have 3x is equal to 180 minus 60 that is 120. So by solving it, dividing both sides by 3, x is equal to 120 by 3 that is 40. If one angle is 40, then the other two angles are x plus 20 that is 40 plus 20 equal to 60 degree and the third one is x plus 40 is equal to 40 plus 40 is equal to 80 degree. So the angles are 40 degree, 60 degree and 80 degree. If you add this 3, 8, 80 plus 60, 140 plus 40, 180. So this 3 satisfies this condition. So this is our solution. Let's have a look to another question. If one of the angle in a triangle is sum of the other two angles, then show that the triangle is a right angle triangle. You know that a right angle triangle has one angle to be uh, right angle that is its measure is 90 degree. Let x, y and z these are the these are the angles of a triangle this shows that sum their sum is 180 degree and here one condition is that one angle is sum of the other two that means if x is sum of y and z that means x is equal to y plus z this shows that 2x is equal to x plus y plus z by adding x on both side we get 2x is equal to x plus y plus z. Now what are these x, y, z? x, y, z are angles of a triangle. So sum of x, y and z is 180 degree. So we can write that 2x is equal to 180 degree. And this shows that x is equal to 180 degree by 2 that is 90 degree. If one angle of the triangle is 90 degree, we can say that the angle is a right angle triangle. This implies the triangle is a right angled triangle. So by this angle sum property we can solve this. N next have a look to this question. In triangle ABC bisector of angle B and C meet at a point O. Prove that angle BOC is equal to 90 degree plus A by 2. So here a triangle is there. 
its name is ABC. The bisector of angle B and bisector of angle C meet at a point O. We have to find the measure of angle BOC. See, in triangle ABC, we have three angles, that is angle A, B and C, that is angle A, B, C plus angle B, A, C plus angle A, C, B to be uh, 180 degree. Now, if we divide each of this angle on both side by 2, what do we get? We can write that angle A, B, C by 2 plus angle B, A, C by 2 plus angle A, C, B by 2 that is equal to 180 degree by 2. This was, you see, ABC by 2 is same as angle OBC plus BAC by 2 is as it is or we can simply write as angle A plus angle ACB by 2, ACB by 2 is OCB is equal to 90 degree. Now, this shows that angle OBC plus angle OCB is equal to 90 degree minus angle A by 2. Now let us consider the triangle OBC. In triangle OBC, again you, if we put the angle sum property, what do we get? We get in triangle OBC, angle OBC plus angle OCB plus angle BOC is equal to 180 degree. Now, we have OBC plus OCB as 90 degree minus A by 2. So, we can write in place of OBC plus OCB, we can write 90 degree minus A by 2. So, 90 degree minus angle A by 2 plus angle BOC is equal to 180 degree. So this shows that angle BOC is equal to 180 degree, 90 is positive here, then we can write on right side minus 90 degree, here it is minus A by 2, we can write plus A by 2. And if we solve this, we can get it is 90 degree plus A by 2. So, here it is a very beautiful uh, problem, we can solve this by using this angle sum property. Let us have a, an, another question. In triangle ABC, angle B is equal to angle C, bisectors of these angles intersect at O, if angle BOC equal to 120 degree, show that angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C is equal to 60 degree. Here it is given in triangle ABC angle B is equal to angle C. This is triangle ABC where angle B is equal to angle C. So, solution given that angle B is equal to angle C this implies 
half of angle B is equal to half of angle C. Why half? It is given that bisectors of angle B and C meet at O. So drop bisector of angle B and bisector of angle C and let, it, let them meet at O. Then as angle uh, B by 2 is equal to C by 2, here what is B by 2? B by 2 is angle OBC and C by 2 is angle OCB. These two angles are equal. Now, in triangle OBC, we have angle OBC plus angle OCB plus angle BOC is equal to 180 degree. Now, you see OBC and OCB are equal and given that angle BOC is 120 degree, given that is BOC equal to 120 degree. So we can write that angle OBC plus angle OCB is equal uh, plus 120 degree is equal to 180 degree or in place of OBC we can also write OCB. So OBC plus OCB is same as 2 OBC is equal to 180 degree minus 120 degree that is 60 degree. This shows that angle OBC is equal to 60 degree by 2 that is 30 degree. So here you see OBC is 30 degree, OCB is 30 degree. Then what about B and C? You see, OBC is half B, so B is angle B is equal to angle C is equal to 2 into angle OBC that is 2 into 30 degree that is 60 degree. So here, here we uh, get that angle B equal to C equal to 60 degree. Now, what about angle A? In triangle ABC, we have angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Here, the angle B we mean ABC. So, and angle C we mean angle ACB. So, we can write that a plus angle B is 60 degree plus angle C is 60 degree equal to 180 degree that gives angle A is equal to 180 degree minus 60 degree plus 60 degree is equal to 120 degree. So, we can write 120 degree and this gives 60 degree. So, from this we get A is equal to angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C equal to 60 degree. So, this is our solution. Dear students, today we learn about the angle sum property of a triangle. That means, sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Basing on it, we solve some problems. Dear students, this is time now to leave. Have a good day. Thank you.